Bluebird 198, one local address established, Sandala. Welcome to Samsung Local Assembly Island, Bluebird 198, could you give me a wind check, please? Thank you very much. Well, welcome, guys, to the Kalula office at Lanceria Airport. Uh, quite a unique. Um, niche that we have in the market. Me and Simon, the first office, has, has checked out the weather this morning in Cape Town. We can expect low cloud temperatures mid-20s, so one nine. So it is fine. We took George Alternate and that's 8.9 nine tons of fuel that we're going to take to Cape Town today, anticipating a flying time of about two hours. The Lanceria office, or the Kalula family over here, is quite friendly, user-friendly, almost like a home, and uh, it's always exciting to know to be coming to Lanceria for a sign-on. Thank you very much. Lanceria, one of the privileges is you can actually see your car while you're still sitting in the aeroplane. It's such an effortless exercise to get from your car through security to the aeroplane, where usually by the time you've gone through the normal international airport scenario or national airport scenario, you're tired by the time you get to the aeroplane. So that's what Lanceria makes, what that makes it unique, is the fact that from your car through the coffee lounge, security to the aeroplane takes five minutes. You can actually see your car standing. The passengers are far more relaxed. The crew is far more relaxed, and um, I started flying out of here in my early flying day, so it's almost like being back at home with the Boeing 737. This makes this quite a, a lovely airport to operate out of. Okay, basically, uh, when I get to the flight deck, uh, the role of the first officer is to set up the uh, flight deck and uh, test all the systems that we're going to use for flight to ensure the aircraft's ready. Uh, the captain, in the meantime, will check the paperwork and uh, ensure that there's no... Uh, problematic deferred snags of the aircraft. A uh, little basic idea is that the first officer sets everything up and does the basic legwork, switching, etc. while uh, that frees the captain up to make any decisions related to the, the flight. Initially when I climb into the flight deck I do a, a safety check just to ensure that there's no hydraulic pressure on the aircraft. Uh, gear selected down, the weather radar is off. And uh, once that's complete I'll start by aligning the uh, inertial systems and uh, moving in a systematic way through the flight deck, uh, just uh, ensuring that all the switches and uh, flight management computer, for example, is set up for the flight. And that's basically it. Well, Charlie, and uh, we'll exit via Romeo. Can you tell Romeo near the tower? Eddie, you can tell that guy we're on time. Okay, exit. Romeo, the one straight ahead to exit there, and then the whole shot off, takes away Charlie on the alpha. All right, we copy that, thanks. Let's go ground, regular comment 451. Comment 451, gonna go ahead. Okay, so requesting start, push back for Cape Town, zero second, zero, Oscar, Tango, Fox, Rock, 77, 400. Six crew, 135, passengers, three hours, three zero, minutes, endurance, skill, three, two, zero, five, start. 451, start and push back, approved, face to tower, report 84, taxi, KNH 10199. 109, stop push approved, face to tower, comment 451. Alpha Julia Delta, Delta Taxi Lima, Charlie, hold short right now, 065. Left on Lima, right, Charlie, hold short, 06, right. Repeat the four star checklist. Repeat the four star checklist. Doors and windows. Closed. System air pumps. Off. Air conditioning pack. Off. Start pressure 33 psi, anti collision light. On. Four star checklist complete. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, Boss Nico. The eight pumps off, pressure zero, we clear a push for runway zero six, you can make it on time and um, we'd like to turn a number one in the push please. Lead for number one. Now can you go and push on flight controls, field of pressure cancelling. Thank you, turning one. Timing. Check. 
Clean one there. Thank you. Thank you, EGT Rising, for a 725 start. And clear two. Step on number two. Turning two. Timing. Thank you. Check. Okay, left Sierra, right Alpha, follow that airplane to the holding point runway 06. Clear left. Clear on the right. And okay. flap 5, please. Flap 5. Selected. Okay. Sierra Tango, taxi left on the Alpha, right runway for April, April 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Flap 5, be nice. Thank you sir, before take off checks, AP to go off on time. So we have checks with APU, recall, check, flight controls, forward, aft, left, right, standing by rudder. And fully left, fully right. Flap 5 required, flap 5 selected, and flap 5 green light, 4.4 units, stab trim, set, copper door, locked. King on the left, he's standing, waiting for us. Check, on the right. Thank you, after 80 knots, this will be a go orientated takeoff. However, in event to stop before V1, which is 147 knots, I'll shout stop! 7 class is flying full brakes, close the thrust, leave it, raise the speed brake manually, apply full reverse thrust. And the briefings are yours, you can get the ADC. So, can you put a flap off this brief, and uh, I'll get the ADC when there's a gap. Delta number two, Contact Tower, 124 zero, bye-bye. We copy number two, Freddy Parker. Busy this morning, Tower, eh? Tower, 124, this one's here, cheers. Alpha, Tower, all the charter jets to depart. Ready for departure, do you need someone on top? Hey, Freddy, we're ready. Thank you, right on Alpha, the rolling point, running 06 left, Tower, 124 zero, bye-bye, legit. Right, Alpha, rolling point, 06 left, and 124 zero, bye-bye. Coming 451, follow the twin Cessna from the runner base, rolling point, 06 left. Follow the twin Cessna, coming 451. Coming 451, Clear Land Syria, Cape Town, flight level 320 on request. After departure on 06 left, turn left for Exano. Climb to maintain 8,000 feet, passing 6,500 feet. Contact radar 124 decimal 5, Squawk 0612. Land Syria to Cape Town, from 06 left, left hand turn up, direct Exano. Climb to maintain 8,000 foot, 36,000 foot, radar 124 decimal 5, Squawk 0612, coming 451. Coming 451, read back, yes, correct, report for departure. Are you ready? Come in, 4 5 Come in, 5 to 1, start and push back, proof, face star, report it. Right, the runway 06 left, we left it, turn out to the Exano. Uh, we'll set that as required. Climb maintain 8,000 foot, that's set in the MCP. And 36,500 foot, we contact radar 124, decimal 5, that's set on standby. Squawk 0612 is set. Reporting of checks completed. Thank you, sir. Reporting of checklist to the line, please. Reporting of checklist to the line, APU. Off. Recall. Check. Flight control. Check. Flaps. Five green line. Stabilizer trim. 4.4 .4 units. Cockpit door. Locked. Take off briefing. Reviewed. Product of checklist complete to the line. Thank you. I'll tell them we're ready. Thanks for your time. Come in 451, ready. Thank you, Simon. Wind slightly from the left. Yes, temperatures, pressures, and quantities normal. Thank you. Four five one runway zero six left. Clear takeoff. Surface wind light is good. On that face. Clear takeoff. Runway zero six left. Cheers. Come in. Four five one. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Thank you, Ron. Scan and feed on. You've got the brakes and you have control. Uh, control. And stabilizing.
Going slightly slow. Stable. N1 Toga. Is that reduced thrust? Reduced thrust, 95.3%. Good morning, Hotel Brunet, Hello, Hotel Lima, Airborne and Gwenya. Hotel Oscar Lima, Nancy, today, remains 5,070. 80 knots? Check. Final hold, check. Maintain the flight. In 110019, and remain below 55, Hotel Oscar Lima. Hotel Oscar Lima, and you can just give us an option for the connection. Hotel Lima, and you can give us an option for the connection. Hotel Lima, and you can give us an option for the connection. Rotate. Get up. Get up, selector. Get up, selector. Get up, selector. Get up, selector. Get clean. Check. Good morning, Nancy. Sorry, I'm from Tango Delta, India. Hello, Long. Tango Delta, India. Good morning, Sam. My departure. Standing by. Tango Delta, India. Yeah. Give me a level change, heading select, and uh, direct Xana, left hand turn out. There you go, direct Xana, and we've got MCP speed green and heading select green. Check. Speed one. Direct F-Deck, Alpha Juliet Delta, Contact Area 128-3, good morning. Over to Area 128-3, Alpha Juliet Delta. And Jeremy, radar coming in 451, also about to clear more. Okay, 451, good morning, identify departure, Lanciera, radar control, fast next sound, speed, climb to front level, 130, direct exonda. Tower is on, under right control from 8 down, to climb level 130, coming 451. Expedition is 101, climb to climb level 150, contact area 128, decimal 3. Lap 1, green on. Climb level 1, climb to the road, and 128, expedition is 101. Lap 1, select. Expedition is 01, climb to flight level 130. Transition, 1013. 0030, expedition is 001. Expedition is 601, area 128, decimal 3, good morning. Presenting next on again. Thanks very much. Dama Amor at 87, checking altitude through 8,800. Now, oh, spot on. Half second checklist, start switches off, fasten belts are yours. And half second checklist, start switches are off and the belts goes off. And I'll give you this through 95, 95. Change on one, start switches. Oh. And we're approaching level 220, 500 foot to go level 160, level 145, speed off first contact, alright. Speed, ultimate. Level 320, level 3, 2, 0. 3, 2, 0, coming 4, 5, 1, 0, climb to flight level 3, 2, 0. Level 3, 2, 0, coming 4, 5, 1, thank you, sir. 3, 2, 0. Check. Thank you, Ram. We, um, Departed Lanceri on runway 06 today, which is a northeasterly direction, uh, completely the wrong direction for Cape Town. We turned out left, and we climbed 8,000 foot. It's quite busy over the Lanceri area in the terminal area. And from there on, we handed over Johannesburg area, 128.3, and they climbed us all the way to 32 grand. 
and we uh, intercepted the Uniform Quebec 2-2 route to Cape Town, which basically takes us past the Valcom area, mining area, to the west of Gauteng, the Greater Gauteng. You can clearly see, you can just hold it there for me, Simon, thanks. You can clearly see the terminal area where all the traffic converged into Johannesburg. We took the Uniform Quebec 2-2, it takes us past Kimberley. And then we fly into the Greater Karoo area, down to Cape Town. The first form of big civilization we will see basically is back in Cape Town, a huge area of the country, uh, which is basically desert in the Karoo. The specific points, the uh, five designator points were programmed into the FMC. The FMC is pre-programmed with the um, with the route, so we only gave it the route basically, Lanseria to Cape Town, route number one, and it's got the points. We just double check it each time we, we, we program a specific route. We'll just go into the next page and on the maps page and make sure that those points are still correct according to the map. Um, those points are also printed on the AF plan, and at each point on the AF plan, we'll do a fuel check and a time check to see that we're using the correct fuel according to the times. Uh, from the Uganda Beam Quebec 2-2 at Woolsey will be handed over for our arrival route at this stage, the Atis, which we got from Cape Town. There we go. Uh, X-ray says runway 19 in use, so we can expect the Woolsey 4 Delta arrival for runway 19. Temperature in Cape Town at the moment, 18 degrees, scattered cloud at 4,500, a lovely day, almost no wind and visibility more than 10 kilometers. And as we're a little bit closer, We'll update you with, um, with a briefing onto the arrival itself. But there you can see South Africa, a huge part of it. Basically desert area, most of the congestion up in Gauteng where things are happening, a little bit here in the Bloemfontein area, and then Cape Town around the coast, Port Elizabeth and Durban, some activity but there's the interior of the country, more a general flying environment, which is great for the PPL or general flying enthusiasts. At the uh, moment we're about 187 nautical miles from our destination, Cape Town. Uh, and we're gonna, we've been cleared direct uh, to uh, Whiskey Yankee by air traffic control. And that's the originating point for the arrival into Cape Town. I'll go through the arrival in detail shortly. Basically, it's going to take us towards the airfield down there. Uh, and we're going to make a right-hand turn and then a 180-degree turn to the left to position for a final approach on runway 19 in Cape Town. The weather in Cape Town, as the captain mentioned, is beautiful. and. Uh, very light wind, which is unusual for this time of year in Cape Town. Uh, normally the southeast is fairly strong. In any case, the actual arrival is the uh, Woolsey 4 Delta arrival for runway 19 in Cape Town. It's the chart stated 10th of June 05, 10-2 Foxtrot is the chart number. Uh, field elevation is 151 foot, and the MSA for the arrival 7,300 foot. As I said, we've been cleared direct to Woolsey, and that's a uh, Whiskey Yankee frequency 247.5. I've set that up on the ADFs. And uh, we're going to track inbound on the 245 course set up uh, towards Charlie Tango Victor, which is on uh, frequency 115.7. Then at uh, 11 miles, we'll turn right, track 010 degrees, and thereafter it'll be radar vectors to runway 19. Speed limits, we've got uh, max 250 knots at 30 miles Charlie Tango Victor and uh, max of 210 knots at 11 miles Charlie Tango Victor. All of this is of course dependent on air traffic control. They may well give us uh, or do away with the speed restrictions in which case we'll keep it at about 280 knots all the way. As I did say, it's uh, beautiful weather so we can expect a visual approach. We will obviously brief the arrival in the event that we do need to do it though. That'll take us onto the ILS. The charts the ILS Zulu runway 19 in Cape Town. Dated 22nd June 07 and uh, chart number 11-2. Localizer frequency is 109.1 and the final approach course 189 degrees. The uh, glide slope cross checks at 5.4 miles kilo here and near 1973 foot. Precision altitude which we bugged on both altimeters is 347 foot for category one approach. And the runway elevation is 200 foot below that at uh, 147 foot. Mentioned the MSAs. The missed approach, if I need to go around, I'll say going around. I'll push the toga buttons on the thrust levers, set go around thrust, I'll call for flap 15, and with the captain's call of positive climb, I'll call for the gear up. Then we'll uh, climb on the radial 189 to 4.6 miles Charlie Tango Victor, then turn left to the VOR, climbing to 4,000 foot away as directed by traffic control. On the localizer, 10 miles, maximum 80 knots, passing 5.4 miles, maximum 50 knots, and this warning, uh, it's horns of the high ground to the 
eastern, along the eastern boundary of the approach. That's the Tigerberg Hills, uh, which are just to the north of Cape Town Airfield. Uh, this the glide slope is a 3.2 degree slope. Uh, most glide slopes are around 3 degrees, so this one's a little bit steeper. And uh, we'll have parpies on the left and the right of the uh, runway. RBR required is 550 meters, but we've got uh, beautiful weather. So what I'm going to, what's probably going to happen is uh, I'm going to route towards this point here, get the field in sight, ask for a visual approach, and uh, then position to the south of the Tigerberg Hills for runway 19. The uh, runway itself, we'll be landing on runway 19, and uh, we can plan to vacate on Charlie Taxiway and park. Uh, either the Alpha or Bravo side of the parking. Captain's going to find out now. All right. Thank you, Simon. Right, um, That's it. You can also add a few dangers that we might want to say. At the moment, the wind's slightly a bit of a tailwind. It might develop into a worse tailwind. Let's just monitor that closely. Possible other dangers is that we plan for an arrival and then we suddenly get the visual and uh, you can't get in a situation where you're a bit high and fast and we'll program that. So it's possible dangers and we manage that. Um, your descent point, please, uh, Simon. Well, I'm playing descent on the top of descent point there, although it should be about 87 miles. Try to take a victim. All right, 100%. So we program the, the descent information into the FMC and we're going to. Okay, what I've got at the moment is an end of descent point at 3,000 foot at the 11 mile point, planning on a visual approach. Correct, all right. So thanks very much for putting me there in the picture, and then I'm going to speak to our ops and tell them we're on our way, and that concludes the briefing. Thank you very much. Program the FMC, your flight management computer, for the arrival. Uh, it's already pre-programmed. I did that before we departed Lanseria because I knew we would be using runway 19 in Cape Town because of a weather report. Normally, the pilot flying sits with the legs page active. That's uh, to allow him to modify the route based on air traffic control instructions. To uh, program the arrival, all the arrivals are pre-programmed in the FMC. I go to the departure and arrivals page. And then it'll give me the option of our departure airfield and our arrival airfield. Obviously the departure airfield is the uh, case you need to return in the event of a problem. Now in Cape Town I select the arrival section and there we'll be presented with a list of arrivals on the left and runways on the right with their corresponding approach uh, beacon A. In this case the ILS runway 19 is active, but if it wasn't I would just select it and that would then eliminate all the arrivals for runway one uh, that weren't applicable to runway 19. In this case, we're doing, we've been cleared for the Wolseley 4 Delta arrival, and you can see that that is active. I would then select that. That would modify the route, and uh, any modification needs confirmation from both crew, and that's why the execute light illuminates. I would then press that, and then the program route would be activated. In this case, we can see that it has already been uh, Programmed. I'm just going to get rid of any modifications I may have done now. And you can see we cleared the Whiskey Yankee. I'm back on the legs page now. And uh, the rest of the arrival is there. The uh, FMC has its own way of describing points. In this case, the 30 mile point at uh, Charlie Tango Victor is fairly clear. It just marks a Charlie Tango Victor 30. But then the 11 mile point perhaps not quite as clear. In this case, it uses a letter K for kilo. And uh, that corresponds to the number 11. See, so uh, just counted up on the FMC keypad, we can see K as the 11th. They're in the alphabets. And thereafter, it'll be vectors. And then, of course, the FMC doesn't know where we'll proceed from there. Next point is the uh, center fix for runway 19, and then the arrival, the rest of the ILS. The arrival also includes the Mr. Approach, should we go around. The aircraft can automatically fly the Mr. Approach route. That's it. We'll be landing on runway 19, that's the south facing runway. Yeah, those on the right hand side of the aircraft during farm approach will be looking towards Cape Town, Table Mountain, and those on the left. Looking towards the ponds in the north direction. We hope you've enjoyed this flight with us, and we wish you a very pleasant stay in Cape Town and a safe longer journey. like music in our ears, they said 280 or greater, which means a high speed approach onto 19, and it's one of the most 
I'd say, exciting approaches in South Africa, doing a high-speed approach inside the Tigerberg on T19. It takes flying skill, it takes a bit of anticipation, but it's, uh, it's like, it's lovely. Is Rob. Uh, in South Africa, I mean, everywhere in the world, air traffic controllers, pilots, they just form a unity. But in South Africa, we even socialize after hours, so we've got a couple of the Cape Town controllers that's on front name basis. It's just lovely to know the face behind the voice, and it makes um, cooperation just so much easier. Because, uh, the one cannot be the other. And they're utterly professional, they're lovely oaks to work with, as a matter of fact. This is Sierra, Simon, the beautiful town of Sierra. It's awesome. Now we've got Paul up ahead of us there, and then uh, to the left of that mountain range will be uh, Stellenbosch, moving towards the coast, Somerset West and Strand. This is an awesome part of our country. Speed 136 miles. 
Flying to Cape Town 19, no speeds, visual. You can't get better yeah, than that. Beautiful. A good approach, loved every minute of it. I guess we took power at about 1,200 foot in the slot. Yeah. So we used all the energy in the descent. I think it was an economic descent as well. Mm. But you can't get an accurate approach to South Africa. Thanks very much. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. Out of Cape Town, back to Lanseria. My favorite airport to depart from and also to fly in. It's uh, quite a challenging runway, very narrow. Downslope if you land on runway 06 with only a VOR approach available. If we got a circle to land for runway 24, it's all visual and uh, it brings out that um, pilot a bit because you have to hand fly it, think with your head, it's not all in the computers. So it's nice to love going there. And it's close to home, so thanks very much. Comet 456, push back start, approved to face north, it's information, Delta QNH 1018. Delta 1018, push start, face north, Comet 456. He's available. Two brakes! Thank you very much. Mark brakes, release system, eight pumps, off pressure is zero. We cleared to push for runway 19, that's towards your left. You can make the time 22, three minutes early, thanks to your efficiency, we appreciate it. And once on the push, can I turn number two? Hey, Captain, doors panels closed, uh, steering bar pass in, can I push back to face north, and you jet start. Sierra, Charlie, Thank Sierra you, Brown, very good morning to you. Check on two. Indies two four zero degrees one zero knots, get take off, good morning. We have four, come in four five six, get take off. Right, yes, uh, come in four five six, rather clear for take off. Give it a go, come in four five six. Give it a take off. Five six. Start switch continues, transponders on clear for take, wind from the right. Want to go check this complete. And stabilizing. Stable, N1, Togo. 
Ich hätte die Distrust nicht. Ich hätte die Distrust. Distrust set. Check. 80 knots. Check. Throttle hold. Check. Yes, helicopter traffic to our right. Check. 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 Heading 240, please. Heading 240 degrees. Set. Flaps up, no lights. Charlie Vic Delphi, proceed to AB to Delta 200, the board lady to dispatch. Board ready for the Charlie Vic Delphi. Charlie Vic Delphi. VNAV, please. VNAV speed. Comment 456 positioning on route turn right heading 270. Turn right heading 270, Comment 456. Heading select 270, please. Bravo Hotel Kilo, descent to 3000 feet. Heading, heading select green. Uh, direct Curtis. Set, execute. Q. Three four zero degrees. I can see my house from here. Sound thanks on visibility is 10 k's. We got a wind of 340 at 7 knots, broken at 3,500 foot AGL. Um, I put in center line picks after ECPOP, otherwise, we go this thing works out its descent all the way to Lima and Victor at 8,000 foot. Yeah, okay. So, I put in center line picks uh, 210 at 74 as my end of descent point with a 0.74 280 descent speed. Check 
And I'll update the passengers now. Let's just look at the plate. Just giving us an idea. 13-1 VR Dimi runway 0-1 or 0-6 left. VR is Dimi Victor 117 decimal 4. Final post course 0 Minimum altitude 7100 foot at 8 DME. Minimum decent altitude is 5020. We're going to put in slightly higher the RMDA, which is 5100 foot. Check. And the under test elevation is 4517 foot. And uh, we basically need to start our descent at 8 miles. But we'll use Borlock to bring us onto the radial descent. It's going to be a straight in approach. Therefore, we start our descent early, but we can't go lower than 21,000 foot. Um, a beam Potchefstroom. A beam Potchefstroom for the reason that they've got an army restricted area there. So it doesn't help to start our descent earlier. In case of a go down, I'll say going around. Toga buttons, go down thrust, Toga green, flap 15. Positive climb, get up. Complying with the misapproach. It says, climb onto radial 064, Lima Invictor 7,100 foot. Passing three miles, Lima Invictor. We turn left on a heading of 244. Passing 650, we turn left to Lima Invictor VOR or as directed. Check. Inbound course 064, outbound course 244. And then um, we'll assess the situation. Johannesburg alternate, we've got two non intersecting runways. We've got lots of fuel we can hold or even go to Durban if we want to. Right. The Janisburg weather at this time scattered at uh, 2,500 foot, fewer at 3,000 foot, temperature 21, visibility more than 10 kilometers with two runways. Shouldn't be a problem to get into Jan. Okay. And uh, descent in time, and I'll speak to the passengers once we've got the descent. All right. Let's just double back quickly 139. 139. And that'll be 154. 54. 210, 210 and 5094 foot. 5094. Thank you very much. Widow Lanceria, like I said, grew up in the area. It used to be a joint civil and military airfield in the older days when aviation was still young in the country. And um, it grew from a uh, it grew from a, a private pilot general aviation airfield pretty much into a corporate flying airfield which is today with two runways, and uh, apart from being Jans much later, OR Tambo, or Johannesburg International, today OR Tambo Airport, which was the, the big airline airport, Lanceria was always sort of the corporate and uh, civil airfield next to that, an alternate for Johannesburg. And now I'm bringing in a Boeing 737 into an airfield where I pretty much started to learn to fly, which is very special to me.
speed 180 knots. Speed 180 knots. That's very good, I'm for Romy and Jaffa. India Romy Lima, right back to it, Charlie. Hold short on with your right contact. Ground 1165. Go on the right, 1165. Good night, India Romy. Mike Echo, we'll see behind this. There's no 172. If you can uh, just okay, go onto the runway. Check, okay, call Turn around and continue on Charlie and hold short of that to our offer. Ah, she is turned around. MTB speed, uh, Alta Check. Mikey, can contact ground now? 1215. 1215. Romy and Tango, ready for the next circuit? Romy and Tango, just to find the station, wind 3,000 degrees, 119 to maintain the south, and to post before landing. Before landing, and landing to the south. Radio, Tango, Zulu. Papa Tango, Zulu, Lance, Grace, Tango. Come in, 456, field, time. Come in, 456, support your DME passing. Right, 10 miles, DME and Victor, come in, 456. Okay, for the straight and visual approach, runway 06, 1019. Report 4DME, leave me into Victor. Okay, for the straight and visual approach, runway 06, 1019. 44 miles, leave me into Victor, come in 456. Thank God, for the straight and visual approach, runway 06, 1019. Report 4DME, leave me into Victor, come in 456. 6,000 check. Thanks. Thank God, for the straight and visual approach, runway 06, 1019. Report 4DME, leave me into Victor, come in 456. Last pull and zero seconds. Last pull and zero seconds. Position one, five thousand feet and below. The Q&A is one zero one nine. Come into the south and runway zero six right. And report one mile to the south. Oh, you made me break up there. Could you please repeat for me, Delta? Five fifteen. 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 Five Papa Tango Zulu, uh, stand by for joining, I'll bring you shortly. Papa Tango Zulu. 25, please. Oh, right. 25, selected. Speed 140, please. Speed 140. Set for 25, green light. Lap 30, please. Lap 30, selected. Speed 145, please. Speed 145. Have 30 green light. Landing checklist, please. Landing checklist. Tango, Oscar, Ski, let's back to a Alpha contact ground on 20 small 6 5 today. Continuous. Recall. Check. Let's Speed break. Alpha on green light. Landing gear. Down 3 green. Flaps. 30 green light. Landing checklist. Complete. Check. Romeo, Oscar, Lima, Lance, good day. Good day, ma'am. Romeo, Oscar, Lima, the ball 407. Check. Uh, Romeo, Oscar, Lima. Coming 456 now, 2.5 mile final, 06 left. Coming 456, runway 06 left. Clear to land, so between 350 and 06 left. Clear land, 06 left, coming 456. Clear land. Clear land. Premier Oscar Lima, stand by for the lift. The QNH is 1019. Standing by, 1019. Foot in the slot. Check, thank you. Five hundred. India Alpha, report your points of departure. I got three rates and two now. Check. 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 Papa Tango Zulu, Lancia. Papa Tango Zulu, uh, 172, two crew, one passenger. 30, uh, 20, 6, 000, 10, 10. Speed break up. Two reverses unlocked. Set up for a base leg for 0, left for QNH 1019. Papa Tango Zulu, 25, 5,500 feet, QNH 1019. Turn into Port Lake Base, runway 06. Papa Tango Zulu, Lancia. 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 Right, enter runway 06 left. Check. Coming 456 left, taxiway Lima. Ultra taxiway Alpha contact ground 126 north, it's fine. Left Lima, Ultra Alpha ground 126 north, coming 456. Coming 456, enter taxiway Alpha now. Enter Alpha, coming 456. Enter Alpha. Enter Alpha. I started the AP already. Thank you very much. Bravo, Oscar, good morning. Oscar, stand by, break, break. 
Whiskey Kilo Hotel, cross 06 left, exit right and right, Krishna, and cross 06 right, and taxi Lima to the south, getting way canceled. behind the helicopter landing now on Lima. Thanks, Odo. It's a, it's a privilege to fly in here in Lanceria, like I said, being my, my home base where I learned to fly. I fly for a, a wonderful company. I've got some of the greatest colleagues in the world. I'm a very happy pilot. Some um, high standard first officers. We've come a long way, especially as the Kalula brand flying MD-82s before we flew the 737s. I learned a lot from the senior captains whom I serve with now. Proud of my country as well. It's um, lovely to know that we're the first low-cost airline in South Africa and the first ones to now pioneer our ways into, into Lanceria. To my colleagues in the police, I miss you dearly. I was part of that family for 17 years and only about a year ago I started flying for them on a part-time basis. So uh, to my South African police colleagues, let's uh, keep the shoulder at the wheel and keep fighting crime in our country. And uh, even our company do our best to make it. Uh, the best we can for everybody to work in. And thanks very much, Udo, for having you on board. It was a privilege on board to, say, to know that uh, somebody that enriched our world in your unique way. It's a privilege to have met you and listened to all your stories today. And I'll always remember today. Thanks very much.